<clears throat> what we're going to make today are called glue sunflowers. Uh, we're going to have Vincent Van Gogh as our inspiration. We've just been learning all about him. So what you're going to need for this project today, you will need a black piece of paper, you will need a pencil, you will also need one bottle of glue, not a glue stick, a bottle of glue. There we go. So we just learned all about Vincent Van Gogh and his sunflowers. So now let's make our own sunflowers using inspiration from him. You may include a vase or you may skip that and go right into the sunflowers. The example I already showed you that I made was one where I skipped the vase and I just zoomed in on the sunflowers. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and include part of the vase. Um, so you're going to use your pencil for this part. First things first, let's write our name right now on the back. Write your first and last name. Please write your teacher's name. Please write your grade and always write what color the table you're sitting at is. That way when we go find these, we'll know exactly who they belong to. Because we will not finish this today, we are only doing part one today. Okay, so your name is on the back, flip your paper over. I'm going to start out with the base on the bottom. We've got a curved line. I'm using a metallic sharpie so that way you can see it. We've got our curved line vase. Now off of the two sides of our line, the two ends of our line, the vase starts to curve up and around, up and around. Now let's not forget that line in the background that separates the table from the wall. It's sort of like a horizon line, so it's that horizontal line near the bottom of the paper. Just skip right through the vase. So you just draw. Don't move your hand. Just draw, pick up, draw. Okay, so also on that vase, there's a bit of a curved line. And this is where Vincent signs his name. So what you could do is you could write Vincent's name or you could just write your own name. Okay, so now let's start out by adding that middle part of the sunflowers, the circles. So I've got a big circle up here. Maybe some ovals for those uh, circles that are those sunflowers that are sideways. Here and a little one here. Okay, so now we've got several sunflowers started out. We're going to continue um, by adding some, maybe some concentric circles. That means a circle around a circle. Okay, now I'm going to start to add some petals. You just curve out back to the sunflower. Or another tip you could use is you could make a little V and then connect it to the sunflower. And each sunflower is different. Okay. 
So you can see this bigger sunflower, it's going to be covering up the smaller sunflower a little bit. So don't worry about that. It's going to be overlapping. And remember, overlapping is where you have two objects, but one is under the other, just like my hands are right now. Okay, this little one down here, he's kind of hanging out of the vase. So we're going to draw a stem going into the vase. Then we'll start adding the petals. Same like this one, it's also hanging out of the vase. Maybe add some leaves to the stems. So now we have a nice vase full of beautiful sunflowers. Maybe add some more petals where you see fit. And we've got quite a few lines. Now you might have less, you might have a little more, but what we're going to do, since yours is in pencil, you can still barely see it, but what you're going to do is you're going to start by outlining all the lines in glue. So you twist open your glue bottle and you're not going to squeeze too hard but you want to make sure you've got a line that covers up your pencil marks. And then you're going to go over all of the pencil marks on that front part of your page. Then next time when you come the glue will have dried clear, but then you'll notice something interesting when you start to put the chalk over it. The chalk does not stick to the glue, so our lines that we're doing today that are white, our lines will turn black next time, and we'll be able to add color everywhere where we didn't put glue. So you have the rest of class to finish this, and then we're going to be placing your glue sunflowers on the drying rack. You must be very careful that when you put your paper on the drying rack that it's not touching anybody else's and that it doesn't fall through the cracks. If this happens and it touches somebody else's, guess what guys? We just use glue all over our paper. It's going to be stuck to somebody else's. That is not good. So let's finish this up, start gluing, and have a great time.